Imagine a kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, and office all confined to just four walls. Many people do it every day living in studios. KITV4's Ashley Moser shows us how one company is redefining tiny living. It stands out in the middle of this industrial lot in Kailua, but try to picture it tucked away on a lush green lot designed to blend in with walls covered in plants and garden herbs. So here we are inside the unit. Uh, this is a 16 foot by 16 foot model, approximately 250 square feet. Civil engineer and co founder of Elevate, Nathan Toothman, is the one behind this idea. It started four years ago when he wanted to do something to combat Hawaii's housing crisis. He says smaller spaces means smaller bills. I'd say take, take a challenge, you know, see if you can live in smaller spaces. Um, and really, in Hawaii, we're kind of forced to just from the economics of it, the price per square foot for buying or renting. This model, complete with sunroofs and wide windows, is an example of what the space would look like as an office. Nathan says you can get creative, adding a bathroom, a kitchen, even an elevator. A lot of creative solutions for the access, but the goal is too, once you're up here, you can you know, restrict access to your place better and make it feel safer. He says living above ground comes with its perks. Spaces below make for perfect parking spots. This shed can be used as an area to store 55 gallons of water. Solar panels are also in the mix, powering the dwelling. The goal is for it to be off the grid as much as possible, um, make people be more self-reliant, basically. Nathan's wife, Tiffany, also helped with the concept. She believes choosing small is also a better quality of life. It makes life simpler. I think, you know, with the whole tiny house movement, that's what it represents, simple living. And when you're living, living simply, you just get to have more of an enjoyment of life. The company is working to get the units on the market. Currently, you can have only one home on a residential zoned property, but legislation to get a permit for an accessory dwelling unit is being ironed out. Ashley Moser, KITV4 News. You know, on the mainland, uh, we have a lot more space. Yeah. It's still a trend to go smaller, smaller, but here it really does make sense because we do live on a tiny island or uh, relatively tiny. And that one looked really, it was really nice. Yeah, it, the inside looked pretty nice. Uh, now, tiny space like that would cost anywhere from seventy-five to $125,000, depending on additions to the interior.